Anyone that comes through these doors is having a really terrible day. And so whatever we can do here to make sure that we're doing everything that we can to make it less terrible is our goal. The Phoenix Police Department investigates thousands of sexual assault and domestic violence cases each year. For those victims, a warm, comfortable and safe environment is crucial. The process of investigation uh, here at the center can be really long and arduous, but we want to make sure that it's uh, as comfortable as possible on one of their worst days. After nearly four years of community fundraising, the newly renovated Victim Center is ready to be unveiled at the Phoenix Family Advocacy Center. These victims had a very tiny waiting room, so they had no privacy. So if you were reporting something and we had another victim waiting for, so let's say, a nurse's exam or a, um, a detective interview, they might be sitting together. And, and victims always value privacy, especially during these sensitive investigations. It takes a team, really. It takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of dedication. Half of it's being funded by the Phoenix Police Foundation and the city is funding the other half. So it's a great example of a community private public partnership um, to be able to make this happen. The Victim Center first opened 25 years ago and is home base to Phoenix Police detectives, nurses and victim advocates. The last renovations happened more than 10 years ago. A huge component to reporting sexual and domestic violence, which is really under, which are really underreported crimes anyway, uh, is trust in the police. So when the police department and the city are dedicating these funds to update our center, we're really showing our victims that we care about them and we care about their comfort level. It's crucial for a victim to come into a space that is comfortable and a safe place because a victim is just is not just coming just to visit us and just to talk. They just. Um, a traumatic event just happened and they're coming with a victim advocate and also to talk to the detective. Debbie Valenzuela is a victim advocate with the City of Phoenix Victim Services. She says having an inviting and safe place is going to impact more than just the victims. It's not just a big deal for us as advocates and detectives and also the nurses, but it's big on the victims, knowing that they are here in a nice, comfortable place. This is going to make an environment for somebody that's really having a horrible day into something that is um, a little bit more pleasant, allows the detectives to do their jobs, allows people to report their crimes um, and feel more comfortable doing so is, uh, again, immensely profound. I hope that all victims that come through the center uh, leave with their dignity and their respect intact, that they have trust in the police and our victim advocates and the whole system, that we will give it the best chance towards justice for them, and they leave as a whole person.